Ladies and gentlemen, here now I'm going to read you just a handful of the uh, Joe Pesci films, and I think you get a sense of what I was talking about. I believe his first film, Death Collector, I'm not familiar with that work. His second film, Raging Bull. Yeah. How would you like that to be your oh, second? Man. Uh, Once Upon a Time in America, Lethal Weapon 2, Goodfellas, Home Alone, Home Whoa. Alone, like the biggest gross biggest motion ever. picture ever, uh, the super JFK, and then he goes into JFK, another career. blockbuster powerhouse movie, Lethal Weapon 3, uh, and his current film, The uh, Public Eye, and Home Alone 2, which is, uh, I guess, going to be released uh, about the holiday season, I would uh, hope. Our next guest, uh, an Academy Award winner and one of the busiest actors today, uh, a couple of the films I mentioned, Goodfellas, Home Alone, and The Public Eye, his newest, which opens across the country October 16th. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Joe Pesci. Nice to see you. Thank you. you could break the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar record. <laughs> I don't think so. I it. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Pleasure to meet you. You know, I, I uh, watched that Goodfellas movie. Man, man, was that scary. What an evil, scary, nasty guy. I've heard that about you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself at Saturday Night Live? You having fun there? Not yet. Yeah, okay. Not yet. <laughs> have you, have you, any time in your career, I know you've been in show business since you were like five years old. Right. Yeah. Any time in your career have you done stand-up comedy or comedy in front of a live audience? I've done comedy in front of a live audience, uh, you know, sketch-type comedy. Mm -hmm. in, in what form? Were you a part of a group, part of an act? I was part of a group. Yeah. I was playing guitar and singing, and uh, my partner in the band was uh, uh, sort of a stand-up comic, and yeah. uh, he was an insult comic. He would insult the audience, and I got tired of it after a while. I started insulting him. The crowd <laughs> liked it, so we let them the act. <laughs> what year was this? Um, the seventies. Yeah, and and you, th it was going to be like a Smothers Brothers sort of thing, that sort of deal. I think it was something like that. Did you ever get in trouble insulting anybody in the audience? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen? Were, were you ever anybody ever come after you? Well, uh, I think there was one time, which is probably known, uh, that uh, was a um, sort of a wise guy, I guess. And, like uh, one of, like you in, in the movie Goodfellas. Sort of like yeah. that, yeah. Oh man! Oh, yeah, real big. oh god! And, uh, I think it was his wife or something. I told her to shut up. I... <laughs> See, you know, and that's brainy stuff too, yeah. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your run of the mill <laughs> insults. It's a shut, shut up. up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wasn't a comic. <laughs> Pretty so good zinger. I didn't know how to uh, stop hecklers, uh -huh. you know. So it wasn't. And she was doing something in the middle of one of the things that I was. She just kept going on and yeah. on. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know what to say other than shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, somebody, a friend of her husband, or her husband shows up? And well, yeah, we got, uh, you know, in the intermission, mm -hmm. we got off the stage, the, uh, the club owner said. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know who that was? No, I don't know. Uh, I don't care. Yeah. That kind of thing, you know. But the I don't care turned into, well, look, I didn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Can't they take a joke? Hey, we're top-notch comics here, yeah. you know. A guy there wants to see about taking the crease out of your slacks. Uh, <laughs> now, you know, and I found this surprising when I learned of it this afternoon, and you mentioned it here yourself, that you did kind of a musical act. You played the guitar and you sang, uh, and at one point in your career, you actually recorded an album, maybe yeah. more than an album. Was it just the one? No, I did. Uh, there were was, there was some singles before that. Yeah. And uh, the album was the last thing I did. Yeah. And, and was your thinking in those days that you might just become a musical act, or were you acting at all then? I wasn't acting at all, other than the, the sketches, you know, yeah. I was doing. I, I couldn't get any work. So. And, and what kind of music were you singing? Uh, it started off to be just rock and roll in the 60s, and, you know, it turned into more of a jazz kind of thing, yeah. jazz blues. Now, you know, Joe, we have the album here. <laughs> Could I buy it? Because I can't. <laughs> Right here. It's, uh, and then, do you mind if we play a selection? It depends on what selection oh, you play. Oh, let's see here. Uh, you know, I have no idea what we're going to listen. Got to get you into my life. That one. All right, here we go. This is, this Just is the album. a little bit, though. This is, oh, no, no, we're going to play the whole thing. No, no, no. <laughs> this is Little Joe, is what you were calling yourself yes, then? Yes, Little Joe. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Now we're going to hear a little of Got to Get You Into My Life. Here we go. Enjoy this. Mm, you were meant to be near me. Ooh, and I want you to hear me say we'll be together every day. Gotta get you into my life. I don't know, they found it somewhere. I'll give it to you. Congratulations. Now, um, you're, the first film you were in was, was, uh, was I right there? It was Death Collector? Well, Death Collector was the first uh, one that I had a uh, speaking part in. Mm -hmm. were, and were you, uh, uh, in a movie like Death Collector, were you a bad guy or a good guy? No um, good guys in that I film. I was a bad good guy. Yeah. <laughs> and then the second one was Raging Bull. Well, now, mm -hmm. there's a, quite a big step. Mm -hmm. How did you get that part? Who, who saw you? Had somebody seen you in Death Collector? Well, they, uh, they were casting for, <laughs> they were uh, Robert De Niro and... Uh, and Martin Scorsese and Sis Corman were casting for uh, Raging Bull, and they were looking for someone to play uh, his brother and another part that was in uh, Pete Savage. So they they uh, they screened Raging Bull, and they look. I'm sorry, they screened Death Collector, mm -hmm. and uh, for another guy to play Pete Savage and. Uh, and Bob and Martin wanted to know who I was, yeah. and they were interested. What were you doing when they were looking at this film? I was you... managing a restaurant in the Bronx. Yeah. It's one of those great stories, isn't it? <laughs> they called you up at the restaurant? There was a phone call. When I, I was out during the day, and a waiter gave me a message when I mm -hmm. uh, had gotten back, he said, uh, Robert De Niro called you, call him. And I said, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it, it turned out to be Bob. You yeah. Know, that was that was great. A great part, great film, and a great career. Joe Pesci is here. You know, it occurs to me, we've been talking about all manner of other things, Saturday Night Live and other films you've done in your recording career. We have not mentioned uh, the newest motion picture opening in a week or so, whatever. What did I say? It's opening... Um, October 16th. October 16th, that's right. It's called Public Eye. Public Eye. What, what is it about? It's uh, based loosely on the life of uh, a famous paparazzi, one of the originals, in uh, New York in the 40s, uh, Ouija. Was his name. Very famous crime scene photographer. Right, mm -hmm. right, and uh, it's you know it's about the life that these uh, artists live. Sometimes you know things they go through to get their shots and mm -hmm. things like that. All right, know. and we have a clip, uh, so a few minutes of this film, and uh, right. yourself, Barbara Hershey, is in it. Right. Who else? Um, some new actors, really good. Well, what about a part for me someday? Uh, I think so. Okay, fine. I don't see why not. Dave. Here we go. Let's take a look now at. Uh, <laughs> The Public Eye uh, with Joe Pesci. Watch closely, folks. Do you know what we're going to see here? Uh, just yeah. take a look. We'll Kid, I that. heard this guy's walking around a meat cleaver sticking out of his head. Get the hell out. One shot. Keep an eye on him. Throw a sheet over him. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Excuse me. You better uncover him now, son. Christ. Christ and they all call him out of comfort. They always say that. At the end, created a cut. He went to tell me, I'm calling him out of comfort. They always do stay. He's going to do the call and make this. Ed Quarry, Tristan, Sinchero, Tommy, Fiji, Main, and Mika, Sen, and Chui, Wara, Tari, at the end, created a cut. He went to tell me, I'm. Please do it. Wait a second. Quarry, Tristan, Sinchero, Tommy, Fiji, Main, What was the uh, what was the deal with the, your character in uh, in uh, JFK? What was the deal on your hair there? Uh, the, uh, Where it was it was kind of orange, yellow <laughs> orange, right? Well, what it was was uh, the uh, the character I was portraying, David Ferry, had no hair at all. Uh -huh. uh, in real life, and he he wore this terrible-looking wig, and <laughs> and all the wigs we had made, I could never make Oliver Stone happy. He said, "Oh, it's not bad enough. It's not bad enough." <laughs> so I grabbed a stretch wig, a girl's stretch wig, yeah. a red one, put it on. We chopped it all up and glued it down. <laughs> and he said, "That's it. That's it." <laughs> <laughs> Every time you would be in the scene, you, you ended up looking at your head, and you just thought, 
Well, we, is I guess he's nuts. I guess the guy is nuts. <laughs> he's crazy. Uh, and you, you did some time as a barber yourself, huh? Right. So you've pretty much done it all. Uh, Joe, have a have a great weekend. Thank you. And good to see you. Thanks very much for your time. Pleasure meeting Thank you. Joe Pesci. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I'm Joe Pesci, and I'm hosting Saturday Night Live this week. During my career, I've worked with such great names as Mel Gibson and Robert De Niro. Now I've got these two idiots. Uh, we're out of time. I want to apologize to Jeff Stilson, a comedian who was supposed to be with us here uh, this evening, and we ran out of time, and it's my fault. And I apologize to Jeff and also to the folks tuning in to see him. And we'll have him back uh, just as soon as we possibly can. My thanks to Joe Pesci, who was here, and Phil Hartman as well. And tomorrow, kids, Jay Thomas, Blue Rodeo, and Manon Rayom, the goalie. Have a nice evening. Good night, everybody.